Morning, Maggie here from Political View. So I found an article in the New York Post I wanted to go over uh, showing a gentleman being hit uh, in the head with a baseball bat out of nowhere. So an alarming video shows a belligerent attacker pulling a baseball bat from his pants and hitting an unsuspecting man in the back of the head on a Manhattan sidewalk. And this is why we really need to be more on top of our bail laws and being very careful when we decide we're going to do reform and not doing it properly. So the 47-year-old victim is knocked to the ground. The unknown attacker seen angrily yelling over him as he lies on the sidewalk uh, at Amsterdam Ave. Hamilton Heights, uh, this was at 8.06 Tuesday, and it was released on Saturday, the video. Um, let's see, not clear if anybody had any interaction, bef if the two had any in interaction before the attack, but the assailant appears to be targeting the man and glances at his face before pulling the weapon. And so we're now being asked to locate the fool. So let's go down a little bit more here so we get a good shot of this donkey's behind. So a video clip released by shows the attacker fiddling with the bat in his pants. Why would you keep a bat down your, your, your pants? I mean, is this something that he's compensating for? A lack thereof? No idea. Don't know what goes on the heads of these fools. Um, handle covered by a hoodie sweatshirt, he walked behind his intended target, nearly passes him, glances over his face. So you know at that point he's like, I'm committed. Got my target, we are locked on, we are now committed. At that moment, a third man walks in the opposite direction between the two and the attacker turns towards the street and stops, seeming to wait for the bystander to pass before he takes out the bat, takes a hard swing at the victim who tumbles to the ground, rolling around in pain. So you know he was committed to doing this. We don't know why he was committed to doing this, but he purposely waited for that third person to like get out of the way before he went after his target. And here's the fool. Let's get a nice big blow up his, his face. There's one. And here's the other. Let's see if we can make that still nice and big and clear. So this is what y'all need to be looking for. Anybody down in New York City. Watch out for him. Hope somebody rats him out. The attacker turns and walks away. Visibly furious and appears to yell back at the victim. Then returns and yells at the victim. Appearing to stomp him at one point before leaving again. Maybe he's not mentally well. I mean, Eric Adams is trying to make it where cops are now like, yo, whether you want to go or you don't want to go, we are going to take you because of crap like this. The attacker was last seen in a hooded not a sweatshirt with Nike on the front, gray sweatpants, black sneakers. The victim suffered a laceration and bruising and was taken by ambulance to NYC Health and Hospital Harlem in stable condition. Cops are asking anyone for information to call the Crime Stoppers hotline. I'm going to sit there. You can see it here. And I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to say 1-800-577-TIPS, which is 8477. For anybody who doesn't feel like... I don't know if cell phones are actually going to show the letters anymore. But it's 800-577-TIPS. Or 800-577-8477. Or go to crimestoppers.nypdonline.org. Let's bring this fool in and get him punished. He may not get punished with the bail reforms being the way they are. Uh, he may have priors for all we know, but we, the judges won't be able to consider that because of the new laws. Thanks, Democrats. We appreciate that. But be that as this may, let's see if we can get this dirt bag off the street so he doesn't hurt anybody else. And if this dude is suffering from mental illness, maybe we can get him some help. Because nobody ever addresses that when there is a shooting or if, you know, everybody's always first to blame the gun. Are they going to blame the bat in this, in this case? Oh, we must take bats off the streets. Doubt it. 
Nobody ever gets to any other other underlying issues. A lot of these people who seem to do things like this have. Is it mental health? Yes, they should be punished for their crime, but they also should have their mental issues taken into uh, consideration and helped. So, there is our perp. Again, here is the phone number. Anybody got something, please let somebody know. And, you know, I understand life sucks and we're having a hard time. Inflation's through the roof. Bread's almost $10 a butt loaf. But, you know, taking it bad to somebody, not cool, man. Not cool at all. So let me know what you think of all this nonsense going down in the big NYC, who used to be touted as the safest big city. Ain't no more. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell so you always know when I'm going to post. Have a great one. Bye.